What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 49. At the end of the last one, you saw that I did manage to get my whip, and we are 255k away from getting to 99 strength. I'm going to be training on control now, so this counter is going to be kind of weird. Basically, you're going to have to multiply it by 3 uh, to get the amount of XP I've gained. I think the goal for this video, I guess I'll set to getting a trident. Um, I might get unlucky, and it might take me to like 90 Slayer to get a Kraken task and to actually get that. But we'll see how it goes. If I do get a trident this video and I still have more time left, I might go and try to do some barrows. So I don't know if this is just sheer dumb luck, but... I did like maybe 30 something tasks, it was a pretty decent amount, and I didn't get any Abbey Demon tasks, so I go and get my whip, and now the next task I finally get them, so that kind of sucks. So I know I told you guys I'm going to be training on controlled, I have gained 15k XP so far uh, from the last task I had trolls, but I'm actually going to use my arc light on this task, so it's going to get me very close to actually getting to 99, I might actually be like 30 something K. I don't know. I'm going to get a lot of XP from this Abbey Demon task. It would be pretty cool to get another whip, but I'm not really too concerned about it. And there is whip number two with 44 kills left to go on the task. We have a total of 689 killed now, but 126K away from 99 strength. So here is the second Abbey Demon task over. 100k away from 99 strength as you guys saw I did get my whip this task I think I got pretty unlucky on the head drops though So unless I get another abbey demon task I'm just gonna be going back to using uh, controlled with the whip But once I hit 250 tasks in a row and I get all those extra points I should be able to finish out all of my extends So there is the first defense level we've gotten and I think it's been like three weeks to a month now I'm um, getting close to 99 strength now, 42k away, I'm also 16k away from an attack level, so that one is going to come first. I don't know if it's going to be from this task or the next one. So just another quick little update, there is 76 attack. I'll see you guys back in probably about a half an hour when I get 99 strength. I'm not too sure where I'm going to get it yet, but it'll probably be somewhere unique. So for those of you that have seen my maxing video or have been following my uh, old series for a pretty long time, you'll know that this is the exact same spot that I got 99 strength on my first Iron Man account. I figured I'd just come back here, kind of like nostalgia, so shout out to everybody here that from my CC that came. But we finally got the first Melee 99 over with. Now we can start grinding out attack and defense and hopefully get the total level up and get back to top page. Also, I had to buy the cape. Really no use to it, but it's just cool to have and to wear. So I think what I'm going to do now is train attack to 80, and then after that I'll train uh, defense from 72 to 80 as well. For the most part, I think I'm just going to go back and forth with these two. I don't feel like going for 99 in just one of them because defense is very helpful if you DC on a hardcore. So I do want to try to get that as high as possible. First attack level since 99 strength. So I need to try to figure out how I want to uh, show these levels. I think I'm just going to be showing them very quickly. I don't really want to talk much over them. Obviously, if I do have something to talk about, I'll mention it. But for the most part, I do want to keep them pretty short, probably under 10 seconds. Uh, that's just going to be for the lower levels because they go pretty quickly. Once I get into the 90s, I'll make them a little bit longer. But my combat level is going to be going up very quickly now. Here's a pretty random update. So if you guys look at my inventory, you'll see I have a Dust Battle Staff. I got one earlier from Superiors. So this is my second one. The only difference is I didn't get this one from Superiors. I got it as a drop, which is 1 in 4,000. Kind of dumb to have a drop be that rare and not really be that useful. I think they're worth like 60k or something. 78 attack, two more until I switch to training defense. Still not another combat level yet. Okay, I know I said that I wasn't going to go back to Bursting next, but... After I learned about how good these Bracelets of Slarda are, I have to do this now. So I was in Paul or Foe's stream, and I saw him bursting Dust Devils, and I kind of asked him a few questions about these. So he basically did a Dust Devil task and wore these, and he got 90 extra kills on the task. If you guys don't know what these do, there's a 25% chance when you're wearing them that when you kill a Slayer monster, the kill won't count towards your task, but you still get the Slayer XP for it. It has 30 charges in it, and you only lose a charge when that um, effect happens. So you have to wear these in the place of Vero's Gloves, so you might lose a little bit of um, XP per hour that way. But in the long run, you're going to get a lot of Slayer XP from this, so I might just hop back and forth. I might do one bursting task of these. And the next time I get them, I'll just do the normal ones because I still do want those seeds and limps. But what I'm actually going to do right now is test this. So this task is 201 kills. So I'm going to go through this whole task. And at the end, I'll let you guys know how many um, these bracelets actually gave me in total. I'm also 51k away from a magic level, so that will easily happen this task. So I've been doing this for probably about 16 minutes now. Um, if we check the bracelet... 22 charges, so I've done about 40 kills, and I've gotten 8 extra kills using the bracelet so far. So should get 84 mage right here. So there's another magic level. I should also get a slayer level this task as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. 
Um, I'll either see you guys back when the task is over or once I get this next Slayer level, but so far this is pretty damn good. Another really nice milestone level, 87 Slayer, Cave Kraken unlock. I'm pretty sure that Duradel actually gives Cave Krakens pretty frequently, so we might not have to worry about going super dry for the Trident. This task is pretty crazy so far, 151k magic XP gained. So I have one more kill left on this task, I'm on a total of 250k magic XP, which is actually ridiculous. I had four superiors this task as well, so that's a lot more Slayer XP. So there is the task done, let me see if there's anything else to pick up here. So I'm just going to teleport to my house. Uh, so I kind of want to figure out how much magic XP and how much Slayer XP I got per hour, but there's 251k on the magic counter, and the Slayer counter is 68 point... We got almost 70k Slayer XP from that task. Of course, it was with the four superiors, but even without that, that's pretty ridiculous XP. And it was over a total of 86 minutes as well, so a little bit under an hour and a half for 70k Slayer XP. So if you subtract the XP I got from the superiors and you figure out how many regular necks I killed uh, XP-wise, it would be 270. If you guys remember, I did start the task having 201, so I got 69 extra kills that task just from using the uh, new silver jewelry. So I think I'm only going to be using this on burst tasks, uh, smoke devils, neck reels, and uh, dust devils, but it's pretty ridiculous how much it increases your XP now. It is a pretty big hit to your runes. I use like 4k chaos runes and like 16, actually maybe even more than 1600 deaths. But the drops do kind of make up for it. But nonetheless, that's a pretty ridiculous task. I'm actually uh, 100k away from 85 now too. So I know I'm telling you guys a lot about this task. I figured I'd just throw this in there as well. So I did some math on it and I was getting 175k mage XP per hour and 48k slayer XP per hour. Now I'm starting to get pretty lucky. There is the third abyssal whip on KC842. I still have a pretty decent amount of kills left in this task as well. Um, I might get to another attack level, I'm not too sure yet, but it'll be cool to get another whip this task also. I was so focused on getting the attack level, I didn't actually realize that I was about to get an HP level. So there's 91 hit points, and it did also get me to 107 combat. 23k now away from the attack level. I only have like 20 kills left on the task, so it's not going to happen from this one. So I really don't like doing this task. Normally I'll just do it um, if I've skipped one and I don't want to skip two tasks in a row. They're really not that common, so it's not that big a deal to do them. They're pretty quick. 79 attack, one more level, and we can start training defense. About to get to 80 attack from this Bloodveld task. I actually decided, since that last task was really good with Nex, to test the bracelet on Bloodvelds because I know they do have really low defense, so most of the time you hit pretty high anyway. So after this task is over, I'll do sort of the same thing, tell you guys how many extra kills I got, uh, how much XP per hour and stuff like that. But I'm going to switch to using defense now, and we're going to be training from 72 to 80 with that. But I'll be back in 43 more kills to tell you guys how well this went with the bracelet. So I got pretty close to getting 73 defense from that task as well. It lasted uh, exactly two hours. I got four superiors and a total of 68,600 XP. So as you guys saw, I started with, I think, 200-something kills. I can't remember exactly but I ended up killing 308 of them, so using the bracelet, it got me 82 extra kills. Um, I was kind of worried doing this that um, doing this over Barrel's Gloves would make a big difference, but it actually really didn't. Um, if I was doing this with Barrel's Gloves, I'd get around 120k XP per hour in a melee stat, and doing it with a bracelet, I still got 113k, so I only lost 7k XP per hour, but I gained 82 extra Bloodveld kills. There is one thing you guys can do. You can bring Barrel's Gloves with you and actually kill them down to maybe one hit and then equip the bracelet but i didn't want to do that because it would get kind of annoying doing that for 300 kills i'm probably going to test this on gargoyles as well but for the most part i'm going to be using barrels gloves on every other task but finishing that task did get me to 249 tasks done so i'm going to get that huge bonus in one more task and then probably finish extending all of the tasks i need another defense level here on this dag task i'll see you guys once this one's over and i'll extend the rest of my tasks hopefully we can get some kraken soon Finished my 250th task, and I did get those 225 points, so up to 500 now. So I'm going to extend Abby Specs. Let me see what else is on here. I think that's basically it for all the extends I need, so I don't really have anything else left. I think I might have mentioned this before, but I do want to save this final block spot for uh, Krakens once I get the Tentacle and the Trident. After that, the rest of the points will probably go towards unlocking this Unholy Helmet once I get the uh, Abbey Demon Head, just because it looks cool, and I'll probably have a bunch of points anyway. So let's get another task here. I'm hoping for next. Oh, well, that works out too, boys. I'm not too sure what spell I'm going to be using on these. I might just use Fire Wave. I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to get my Trident on kill number 58. So it wasn't quite kill 58, but I did get the Trident on 120 KC. I kind of made a mistake not extending these first. I don't know why I completely 
uh, forgot about the drop rate on the tentacle. I thought it was a little bit less than it was. So I need to go ascend those when this task is over. I am using the new bracelet though, so I will get a few more kills from this task. But there's the trident, guys. I'm going to go fill it with runes and go start killing the boss for the rest of this task. If we could get a tentacle, that would be perfect because I'd never have to do this task again. Sadly, I didn't get the tentacle from the uh, boss kills. I did get a dragonstone ring, though, which sucks because that's, I think, over the drop rate of the tentacle. It's around like 1 in 300 or 1 in 400 as well. I did get a 100 monkfish drop, which is going to help me for uh, doing this because I'm running out of potatoes. But I did finish the task getting a total of 28 kills. So I'm hoping the next time I get these with the extend and the bracelet, I'll be able to uh, finish them out with the tentacle. I actually got over 100k magic XP from that Kraken task, so I decided to just go and Alk some stuff, because at the end I was about 1.5k XP away, and I did still have a bunch of Alks from like doing neck tasks. So there's 85 magic, I should get over a mil pretty easily from Alking the rest of these. I do have a green cash stack as well now, I believe I'm up to around 11.5 mil. So there's Cave Kraken extended, kind of sucks to use 100 points on that, but it's definitely going to be worth it to uh, get the tentacle. So I don't think I've messed up not recording a level for a while, but I did just miss it. So I got 74 defense. I'm just not used to uh, these levels coming in so quickly. I am testing the new uh, Bracelet of Slaughter on Gargoyles right now, though, to see if they're worth it. I'm not too sure if I'm going to get another defense level this task, but I will be sure to let you guys know how well this went with the Bracelet over Barrel's Gloves. So that's the end of this Gargoyle task. I kind of messed up when I was trying to figure out how many of these um, extra actually got. I think the first Bracelet I had was at about 15 charges. I went through that, another full one, and I got two nine charges on this one. So it's around 70, I think, extra I got. So it seems pretty consistent between 70 and 80 that you're going to be getting. So this task went from 224 to about 300. I was getting 80k defense XP per hour, and that was uh, after exactly an hour. I don't know how much I'd get here with Barrel's Gloves, but I think it would still be worth using this bracelet here as well. At least on Iron Man, because you get a lot of extra pure essence and a lot of extra GP. But of course, it's going to be up to you guys where you want to use this bracelet. I think I'm just going to stick to using it on burst tasks here and at Blood Builds. So I think that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, I'm going to go and do Barrow's right now. I'm going to go get another task just to see what it is. But then I'm going to start doing Barrow's. Uh, the goal from that is to get Tank Legs and hopefully Arum's. The whole point for me doing it, though, is to get DH from all in the future. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. A lot of stuff got done in this one. I think more got done in this video than any other video so far. But now that I have the whip and I'm used to doing these burst tasks, the uh, Slayer XP is going to be coming in pretty quick. So as always, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one.